and welcome back to How Not to Play, a channel in which I play video games badly. Today we are continuing our platinum playthrough of Horizon Forbidden West. But before we do, a few quick words of warning. Since this is a playthrough, it will contain spoilers if you have not yet played this game. Also, it does contain violence, and I do contain strong language, so if any of that is offensive to you, you may want to watch something else. So without further ado, let's get into the gameplay for Horizon Forbidden West. Should do it. This will return water to Scolding Spear. Checking the wound is the only way to be sure. That fallen soldier. Come with me. I want to look upon the face of the coward who did this to our people. I mean, we could have done that when we were there. I should have glided on that one. There he is. You know him? That is one of Draka's men. I should have known. Draka knew what would happen if the capital was left without water. But he didn't care! All he wanted was to cause a crisis so he could challenge my command. Look, we don't know that for sure. Meet me back at the wound when you can. Please. To make sure the water will flow. I will. Don't do anything rash about Draka. Only an upstart acts rashly. A commander bides her time. Hey, the desert was kind to lead you to us. Things are about to get ugly between Draka and Yara. Maybe I can head it off. Very interesting. I remember to glide that time. Well, let's head back on into Scalding Spear. What was this? Are those solar panels? If what Jataka says is true, Yara and Draka will end up killing a lot more than just each other. There has to be something I can do. Oops, did I pass it? Oh, she's down below. I thought she'd be up on her perch. I need to see the wound. I'm afraid your presence is required in the commander's quarters. Is everything okay? The dissident Draka has been apprehended for interfering with the wound. How did he interfere? He entered the wound by force, saw that it was empty, Except for a slow trickle that began when you fixed the device in the desert. He did not take it well. Of course he didn't. I'll go meet with them. Well, there we go. I answered that question. I mean, Yara's quarters is where I... expected to meet her. You 
have some nerve. You're one to talk. That doesn't sound good. Watch your tone. Or what? You let these two kill me? How could you let this happen? How did I let this happen? You're the one who sabotaged the wound in the first place. You're lucky we were able to fix it. Or your head would already be on a spear. You call that fixed? It's just a dribble. And it's not my fault. I already told you Ukta came to me. He said he found something in the desert that might get us water. I had no idea it had anything to do with the wound. And you expect me to believe that? Aloy, I came for the water that was owed to us. And when I found out that there is no water, they arrested me. As I already told you, the water is returning, but slowly. It'll be weeks before the wound is full again. Until then, I will send Arrowhand what I can. You hid what happened to the wound. How can we believe you now? Draka. No, you know what? Enough of this. No more words. <laughs> Consider that a challenge. <laughs> Gather your squads then, and meet us at the gate of the vanquished. I have a challenge to prepare for. Leave me. This will be the end of the clan. I have to stop it. We have to stop it. Hold on a second. Help me understand. What do you mean, the end of the clan? Both sides will take their most loyal squads to the Gate of the Vanquished. Then they'll butcher each other as part of a ritual challenge. But it won't stop there. Whoever wins will try to wipe out the loser's loyalists all over the desert. The fighting could last for months. Those two scabheads are going to doom us all. Can't you stop them? I'm a chaplain. I provide counsel. I cannot force them to heed it. Even Chief Akaro can't intervene. It is a matter for the clan alone. What is this gate? The doorway to a dead cauldron. A symbol of what the tribe aspires to. The defeat of deranged machines. Dead? What shut it off? No one knows, but it is a place of great significance for our clan. Even greater now, since it will mark the onslaught of a massacre. What makes you think I can help you stop them? I'm not even from this tribe. They both owe you a debt. You aided them when no one else could. And you've seen into their hearts, just like I have. Misguided in different ways, but no less worthy of the people they protect. Your words might be enough to spear some sense into them. Yeah, well, they're not exactly good listeners. And you are no ordinary speaker, especially with a bow in your hand. I will go to the Gate of the Vanquished, southwest of here, to stall them. But without you, I'm afraid we'll run out of body bags fast. So we've completed the wound in the sand. Holy. Now we've got a new side quest, the Gate of the Vanquished. It looks like my job is never done. Well, since we're back in town, let's go ahead and see what uh, this melee pit has to offer. What's going on here? Close combat training. Fighting at long range is a good strategy for machines. But fighting an enemy soldier means getting up in their face. I'm Lee Rocket. I run the training pit here in Scalding Spear. Only a few outlanders have ever made it out this far west. But from what I've heard, you're a pretty good fighter. You can train here if you like, but you're only allowed your spear and a practice bow in the pit. Everything else stays with me. And if you're looking to test your fighting skills, I also offer challenges. Complete all of them, and you'll get to go up against me. And what happens if I beat you? I'll grant you a mark to prove you've mastered this training pit. If you earn marks from me and the pit masters of the Bulwark and Thorn March, you'll earn the right to challenge the Enduring. I think I've heard of the Enduring. Some kind of Tanakh trainer? More than just a trainer. The Enduring is a legendary fighter among the clans. The master of masters. 
Only those who prove themselves in the pits get to train with the Enduring. Including Outlanders? Yes. If you can beat all the pitmasters. So, what will it be? I'm up for a Should challenge. Should you want to practice or take on a challenge, just let me know. Let's see. What kind of tutorials do we have here? Uh, looks like I need to upgrade my warrior tree first. Let's see. The warrior's wrath. Land a basic combo, follow up with a power attack, and finish with a resonator blast. Holy shit. All right. Need to learn Aerial Slash to complete that one. All right, so let's go learn Aerial Slash. All right, let's go on to our Warrior Tree here. We will learn Aerial Slash Jump Off. along with some other stuff. So, for the Warrior's Wrath, we need to do the Nora Warrior attack combo, followed by a power attack, followed by a Resonator Blast. Let's give it a shot. One. Hey, what? Combine single attacks, you can also chain combinations. Try it with this one. Okay, well that was easy. So let's go ahead and practice Ooh. our aerial slash and aerial slam. So to aerial slash, we R1, R2. Oh, okay. I, I get it. So to aerial slam, we R2 while in the air. So aerial slash and slam. This is the aerial slash. Get in the air and slash down at your enemy. It's a good way to set up follow-up attacks. Okie dokie. Now the jump off. So instead of hitting R2, we hold R2. Oh, and I've performed three melee combos now. That's a nice achievement. Jump off is a great oh, way to get jump distance forward from too. opponents and to set up an aerial shot. Okay. And an aerial shots. Shoot an arrow to target immediately after a slash or jump off. What did I, what did I do wrong? Okay. Good work, Outlander. Interesting. Alright, well, let's try the challenge. 
I forgot to shoot. Well, I was I was doing a jump off. Oops. That was really touchy. Oops, I missed. Here's something different. I want you to practice using aerial slash to chain into an aerial shot. I mean, technically, I missed because I didn't trigger the Resonator Blast in the air, but hey, I'll take it. Let's give this a shot. Good fight. Pretty sure I'll have a bruise to remember it by. Here, a mark is promised. Thanks. One down, I guess. Go to the training pits in the Bulwark and Thorn Marsh. Earn their marks, then you can challenge the Enduring. Few have ever done so, but I think you might have a shot. And if you want to train more or take on another challenge, let me know. The pit will always welcome you. All right, we got our Desert Clan mark. Not bad. It was actually pretty easy. That's enough practice for now. Strike true as the ten. All right, on to save the Desert Clan. Let's find this cauldron. It sounds like there are people in trouble. Hey, over here! You are chargers. That's how you take out chargers to knock. Wait, are you still fighting one? Patrol. How did you end up in trouble with those chargers? You need to answer our questions. We don't answer yours. Excuse me? Atokto, she just fought on our side. That doesn't mean she's an ally. That's pretty much exactly what that means. And we've enough to do chasing down these Regala zealots without picking fights with Nora warriors. Regala's desert to knock. We should be fighting alongside her instead of sitting this out. Regala has forgotten her duty. And let her anger at the Karja draw us into. We will speak about this later. You fought with courage and honor. You're free to go on to the Grove, Nora. The Grove? Our capital. If you want to spend time in this area, you'd be wise to check in with the commanders there. If Regal has broken her duty, then why aren't we bringing her to justice? Because we follow orders. 
And orders are we stay neutral in this fight. What sort of soldier hides from a fight? Alright, well, that is a whole lot of not my business. Okay, so we are at the gate of the vanquished. That's a lot of angry to knock. Drunk and Yara are already here. You're here. And I thought you didn't care. Aloy, did you come to witness the challenge? Does there have to be a challenge? Oh yeah, there does. If you persist, all of these squads will join the fights. How many will die here? And how many will die in our villages once the retaliation begins? There has to be another way. Listen to what she has to say. You both owe her that much. Yara, do you really need to do this? He sabotaged the wound. You can't tell me you believe he knew nothing about it. And it was all part of his plan to force a confrontation. Don't you see? This is what he's wanted all along. It doesn't matter how many die as long as he gets what he wants. Command of the clan. No. I'm putting an end to this. Now! Draka, you lost a lot of good people hunting machine hearts to trade for water. You want to lose more now? But that cost is exactly why I'm doing this. Why I had to send people to find other sources in the first place. I swear to you, I had nothing to do with what happened to the wound. Ukta came to me, said he found underground leaks that might lead to another well, that's all. I didn't tell him to screw it all up and drain the wound. So stand down so we can all talk about this. No! No more talking, no more lies. Yara can't be trusted. That's been proven. Is this how you two plan to save your clan? By causing a massacre over who gives the orders? Drop this foolishness and work together. She's right. Put away your spears. Return to your homes. Which means she stays in charge? Forget it! You see? Replacing me is all he cares about. It's a vendetta. And it has to end here. Uh, for once we agree. Pick a side, Aloy. Because we're settling this now. There must be a way to minimize the bloodshed. The Tanakh never make things easy, do they? I'm afraid not. Becoming commander isn't going to change what happened to the wound, Draka. If you really wanted to help your people, you wouldn't be throwing away more lives just to change who gives the orders. You really are something, Flame of the Desert. But I didn't come all this way to let things stay the way they are. Then fight us. Just us. You want to save lives? Keep your squads out of it. I've seen how you fight. These soldiers are with me. Then we stand with Aloy and Yara. Even numbers. <sighs> Fine, old man. It's your funeral. New rules. We're keeping it to just us. Winner takes command. Nice knowing you, Aloy. Well, we'll see how this goes. You should have backed down when you had the chance, Drunk. Oh shit, that fucking hurt. You should have backed down when you had the chance, Drop. Oh bullshit, I wasn't even in that. What the hell?
Oh, come on. Fucking take him out. Really? Hey, I got him. It's over, Draka. <laughs> Not just yet. You did your best to follow the path. You die with honor. Did it have to end like that? It's the way of the desert. <sighs> well, what happens now? We live off the water the wound ekes out, rationing until it fills back up. And I'll make sure Arrowhand gets its fair share. Yeah, you'd better. The desert never forgets. And I won't either. How you've helped us, I mean. I give this to you now, for all you've done for this clan. And we've earned the trophy, chosen a desert commander for completing the Gate of the Vanquished. That was a tough choice. I mean, honestly, either one of them would have been fine. They said this was a dead cauldron. I wonder if I can go inside. <laughs> 